Okay, are you ready? In Mrs. Spray's preschool class in Lehigh. Here we go, we're gonna go to library. 16 children home. are preparing for kindergarten. Put one foot in front of the other. Preparing for the years to come. Can you have this book? I do. I love Fly Guy. And Mrs. Spray is guiding that journey. Where did we say was the place we go if we got sick? Lately, the lessons taught are taking on a more serious tone. Where did he have to go? I miss him. A beloved classmate who goes to the vet is not here. He is sick. Animals go to the vet. It's a wizard. A loving class pet. Spike is our classroom pet. He's a bearded dragon and the sweetest loving pet you could ever have. With a serious illness. It's possibly at this point they think he has cancer. And the cost to give him a fighting chance is not cheap. Between his medicines that they gave me so far, it was $387. So it was expensive. But even on a teacher's salary. It doesn't matter where we stand, right? It turns out. I would never ask anyone to help either. She didn't have to. Look how much money we have. Sometimes little ears listen closer than we think. You want one of these? They made him cards and that was just the greatest. And developing minds recognize a need. But I would have never thought they would have thought to raise money. You got something on next to you. The children who are still learning to read. Oh, look at Mrs. Those are so cool. Could teach us all a little something. Right? About helping a friend <laughs> with or without scales. I started crying. It was the sweetest, most amazing gesture to know four and five year olds knew what it meant to spend that money to take care of him and how they wanted to help. Bye, Mrs. Spray. Hey. No one can know if Spike will make it, but now, this lifelong educator knows the children she's guiding it's a wonderful feeling are headed in the right direction even though they're four and five they they understand those important details in life they understand what life means